Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? Uh, it's a Wednesday morning. It's wild. Oh, there's a fly on the window. I need to let him out. Look at him. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out you go. Come on. Free the birds. Uh, it's Wednesday morning, and I was like, ah, oh, I've got a ton of stuff that I could do today. So, um, like a ton of fun stuff. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. I've got a ton of stuff to do on the mini. I'm gonna take you out to the garage and show you at the garage and show you the car because I feel like there's a ton of people that just don't have a clue about it, which is really cool. So I'll show that. I'm gonna be up in the studio for a little bit with Rue doing some writing. So I don't know how that will look, but, but yeah. So we're just gonna have a fun day. First job of the day, obviously. Coffee, Coffee and breakfast. I'm gonna make a good brew, a good brew, and uh, maybe a bagel, and some egg. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yo, so I just gotta give a big, meh, real, real massive shout out to Strangers Coffee, just because they're awesome. Been providing me with coffee, good damn good coffee for for so many years. They're from Norwich, they are a quality, quality company. I'm glad that they have online business, I'm glad that I can buy from them online because they make phenomenal quality coffee. If you're into coffee, if you like doing that, um, go and buy coffee from them because they're great. I love it, I love it, I always use their coffee. I've tried a lot of coffee. Let me let me tell you now. I've tried a lot of coffee, but Strangers is for sure. Like I've got a, I've got a box or like seven somewhere. I don't even know where it's gone. It's been tidied away somewhere. I've got like two boxes of all of the coffee that I've ever used. Don't know where they are, but legit. Oh, it's back there. Yeah. Like, I've run through a lot of coffee just, just to try tons of stuff. Um, and honestly, strange coffee, always the best. I've got three different bags on the go at the moment um, just because pre-lockdown I bought a kilo and a half of coffee. And so we have, going on right now, here's what we got going on. I'm gonna spin you around. I think I'm gonna have this today, a little Colombian, this. Um, I don't, which one, this is my favorite right now, that's why we're having it today. Ethiopian and a Guatemalan. So, like, seriously, it doesn't get, it doesn't get any better than this. In my opinion. I, I honestly think it's the best coffee you could buy uh, in the UK right now. Um, so yeah, segment over. Let's get back to making coffee. For anyone interested, I'm using 24 grams of coffee. 24 grams in here. Uh, it's a pretty, I'd say it's a relatively fine grind for a Chemex anyway. These beans are like, these, the beans are bigger in size than your, than I would say than your average bean. And so they, they grind a little coarser anyway. So, you, so for this one, you have to grind a little finer to, Compensate for that. Also, today, we're rocking the Chemex. I love a Chemex. Usually, well, not usually, I kind of I flip between using the Kalita and using the Chemex just because it's my favorite ways. I've seen, I seen some friends using siphons and I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to buy a siphon just because they look super, super cool. But for now, we've got a good old faithful Chemex.
So this Chemex apparently I think is like, they say it's like a six cup Chemex, but I'm pretty much about to fill it and it's gonna make like a cup and a half. A cup and a half, a cup and a half. So it's not a six cup, it's lying. And this isn't a big cup, like, this is a pretty small cup. Like, I would have said it's a small cup anyway, so. So I did about 400 grams of water to the 24 grams of coffee. And it's going for about two and a half minutes, which is now. Gotta give it a good mix. Yeah, 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 you can't see me. It's better. Oh man. Coffee. This is annoying. I wanna make you be able to see me properly. Fantastic. Well, it's coffee. It's good coffee. Praise the Lord. Do you like two-ish coffee? Well, uh, I'm gonna wait for my bagel to do the bagel thing. Um, I'm gonna check my emails, cause you know, that's what you do when you're an adult. I need to pay a bill, cause I want water, I like water. And then, uh, yeah, 11.30 today. So in an hour's time, I'm gonna be getting a FaceTime from, from uh, Rue Cullen. Um, and hopefully we're gonna make some fun music together, which is cool. So she said she's got uh, a song that she wants to do. And so yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be fun. We've got like an hour to burn. I'm gonna jump on the computer and just waste an hour. Not waste an hour, I'm gonna you know, practically and responsibly use an hour of today. Ah! Uh. I moaned to people for this the other day. Dirty glasses, man. Who does my nutting? I mean, it's not just dirty glasses. Dirty glass, generally. I don't get it. I lost my bagel! It's infuriating, looking through like murk. Murk. It's a fun word, isn't it? It's like, when they're dirty, it just brings like, Makes it hazy. I'm like, I can't live with this. I can't live like this. Much better. Much better. Clean your glasses, guys. A little bit of bagel. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. It's got too much stuff on it. Mm. Alright, so here's the deal. Every morning, I mean, I'm not that great at the moment, but uh, this, this is a whoop. Uh, and it is a fitness tracker. I'm really, really unrecovered. Like the last, oh man, the last five days, 56% recovery, 60% recovery, 42% recovery, 64% recovery, 39% recovery. Yesterday I was only, sorry, 36% recovered. I'm getting a phone call. I don't know who it is. Hello. Well, that was nice. <laughs> it was Robert uh, from Viper Performance. Uh, I think it's Viper Performance or Viper Automotive, I don't know. A couple of parts for the Mini are not in stock, but he said they will be in stock within the next one to three days, which is fantastic. I'm learning, I'm learning. With this Mini, all right, as you'll find out later, with this Mini, I know uh, very little, and 
I'm guessing my way through the entire project, pretty much. Which is great fun. Uh, it just costs time. Tons of time. He said those parts should come in either today or tomorrow, and he'll be able to get Mapper Fry, which is great. But we've still got some stuff that we can do today, because um, we had a ton of bits come in, and I can just show you around, so it'll be super chill. I've been trying to get hold of a uh, Olympic bar, a barbell for, you know, big bar, put weights on it and lift it, throw it in the air. Um, I've been trying to get my hands on one, but I can't get one. Everywhere is out of stock and it's doing my nothing. I should, um, I messed up, guys, I messed up. I should have as soon, I should have bought one as soon as everything went off. I should have just gone, get a barbell, you're gonna need one, you don't know how long, how long this thing's gonna last. Lo and behold, um, everybody did that and nowhere's in stock. I'm on a notification list with Rogue. In the meantime, I bought uh, some, I think 15 kilo plates just to be able to do some like ground to overhead or something. All right, so any minute now, I'm gonna get, a, hopefully, I don't know, a FaceTime or something. Might even be on Zoom from Rue. Uh, I'm in the studio right now. Um, I'm gonna jump over onto a little Zoomer Zoomer or something, I don't know, and uh, see where she's at. And we're gonna hopefully get some writing going. So I'm super excited, I'm all set up in the studio. It's been a while since Rue and I have done some writing together, been in the studio. So yeah, I'm super excited. I don't know what she's gonna bring. Don't know what, don't know what ideas she's got. Don't know what she wants to do. So it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be really exciting. Yeah. Oh, we, yo, do we have a good song for you? Uh, that was a very, very oh, parcels, love it. Um, a very practical. Um, oh, it's grass. <laughs> no, that's really weird. <laughs> um, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. So we just had like a two-hour Zoom call with Rue. Um, and she's, she's written a song, which is awesome, because um, it's been so long since I've actually been in the studio with Rue. It's so really cool to get, um, get back on track with her, which is awesome. She's written a banger, and we just spent a couple of hours just making that happen, which is cool. And I got to see her wonderful husband, John Cullen, I love that man, um, and their dog, Baxter who I love, they've got the funnest dog. We worked on it, it was good. Um, now I've got to put some kind of track together. That was fun, that was fun, I'm energized. Uh, very energized, now I need lunch as well. Uh, but look, let me show you this, let me show you some grass. <laughs> oh man, I haven't got enough hands. I'm gonna break something. <laughs> okay, there we go, right, look. Let me put you back down here. Graph. Oh! <laughs> so I've been thinking, I want to get, oh, it's everywhere. I want to get uh, some Astro out the back, out in my back garden, because I'm fed up with grass. It's doing me nothing. I got some samples sent through of different bits of Astro to, to test how it feels. Wow, it's all just falling apart. Um, to test how it feels for like softness and, and all that kind of stuff, um, which is kind of fun. Oh, and there's like different thicknesses and wow, wow. So the different grasses. This is Monaco. You can't see that really, can you? There you go. Look, Monaco, um, and it is just a good old, good old bit of turf. Nice bit of astro turf. And I got it so that I could feel for softness. I kind of fancy astroturfing the back garden. Man, this stuff's actually really soft. Oh, wow. That's, that is soft. What's this? Antigua. Oh my gosh, it's messy. It's because they've cut it up and the sections are not. That's not as soft. That's a little bit. Wow, but that has a five star softness rating. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's Miami. <laughs> Miami grass. This is weird. 
<laughs> this is weird. Uh, Barcelona. Barcelona is quite nice. It's all quite light. I think the nicest colour. That's like thin. It's Hollywood. Man, it's so messy. It's so messy. It's weird. Guys, I'm just feeling grass. This is nice. Cape Verde. Five star soft knit. Yeah, this is real, real soft. This is thick. This The Monaco one is thick. It's real, real thick. The Barcelona. There you go. <laughs> the weirdest thing ever. Just feeling some grass. There you go. Put that back in there. Consult other various interested parties. And we'll see. See what grass we get. Lunch. I'm not gonna lie. I'm always really, really scared when I'm cooking like something with like a red sauce and I'm wearing a, a white shirt. Like it's dangerous. You gotta be careful. But I'm just reheating some leftovers. I did like four meals worth of prep, I guess. So, um, so yeah, just scoring ourselves that. Uh, pasta's done. Uh, I'm just gonna rinse that and then I'm gonna flipping slam it because I'm hungry. Y'all, lunch is here. Off camera, for your information, is the pot that I cooked it in. Because, you know, let's we'll save on washing up, shall we? Uh, I generally, generally, uh, like to take lunch times to just educate. So I'm just watching like a hella ton of YouTube. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube anyway, but you know, um, watching stuff to do with the car, with the mini, anything like that really, um, or music or production or something. So upskill people, it's good. Educate yourself, learn something new every day. Yo, what's going on? All right, we're in the garage. This is uh, this is it. Um, let me show you the car. So this is the car. Give you a quick little inside. This is what we're looking at right now. That's how it looks. Looks all nice, no seats at the moment, just for easier access. Um, so, let me talk you through what we're gonna do. All right, so, um, I got a box of bits and a ton of other stuff. Here's what we're gonna do. I have some new like headlight bowls and rings because the old ones are a little bit shabby. So we're gonna change these out and that should be uh, nice and simple. That's an easy job. Job number two, I have one of these to go on. This sits around, this is a steering column like cowl indicators and stuff out the sides. I need to find some screws. I don't have the screws. Put that on. So I've got to find something that works. I'm gonna cut some braided hose for my uh, brake lines. It's been the single most annoying thing of this entire project because I haven't been able to make it work the whole time. So we're gonna cut some of that up. We're gonna pop some fittings on it. I don't yet, I don't have everything uh, for it yet. Um, but that is what we're going to be popping on on the edge of those lines. So we're kind of upgrading for anybody that cares. We're going uh, AN fittings. So it's a PTFE hose, nylon braided hose uh, with a dash six fitting on the end. Some of those anyway. So we're going to pop those on. Um, but I can't fit them yet because I don't have the final connection. Um, so we've got that. We've got some extra like rubber and this stuff like covers up all around the car and I want to put some under the wheel arches because I've freshly cut the wheel arches. I've got some more of that. What else have we got in here? Oh, and then I've got some, I haven't looked in here yet, uh, some front bulb indicators, some indicator bulbs that are smaller and orange instead of see-through. Because, I don't know, a little bit of colour. Could look fun. We've got some of these to pop in the front, um, which should be cool. So we're going to fit all of that. So I don't really know where to start, apart from just doing it. So 
with the headlights, the aim, we've gone like black um, headlight grills and stuff. Uh, or headlight surrounds. And I also managed to purchase some black. Let me move you in a little bit. Look. This is what we're going to be doing. This puppy here. So around the edge here is black instead of what you see here, which is silver. So these ones are silver and I'm going to be replacing the rubber seal, rubber gasket on the back um, and then just swapping out these. So all the fittings are nice and new, all the threads are new because these ones are a little bit mashed. So uh, we're going to swap those out. Nice and quick. What do we need? Take off the silver, pop on, pop this in, and then we'll refit our lamp. See this, can you look? One of these is what we're putting on. Um, there you go, that's what we're gonna do. Somehow, I've got to figure out how to mount these things now because they're not stock. But I wanted them because they're black and they came black. Because I tried to paint my own, but it did not work as I wanted it. So these are not stock. Sit really nicely though. That's great. I'll show you on this other side and this, and it kind of rests over a lip. That's the goal, like that. And then obviously, headlight goes in and in. Yee. Here's the deal, right? I don't know if this is going to be as exciting for you to watch as it is for me to do. So, I'm always trying to work out, like, this is what I'm doing. I'm just still in my garage, sticking things to a car. And I know most of you are just like, man, why is he doing that? And you, it doesn't even matter, really. This has been uh, lots of my time for the last two weeks or so. And it's been great fun, I tell you that. But yeah, so I kind of want to bring you on a little bit of the journey just so you know what's going on. Keep you updated, keep you in the loop with everything. Ah, this is frustrating. 
This is my whole problem. Something is supposed to work, and then it doesn't. Ha ha ha. Alright, so I've been getting mega pissed off, as usual, because I've been trying to fit these. <laughs> And, uh, and I was getting frustrated because I was like, why is this not working? It should be really easy. Uh, and turns out uh, it's because I got the wrong fitting anyway. So I've been trying to squeeze these things onto here, um, but I've actually been missing uh, a very important piece, which I believe is like a compression, um, a compression olive of some kind. So this went on and probably shouldn't have, as in not shouldn't have, but it went on and it's probably incorrect. So this is a bad idea because this is supposed to be high pressure brake, like brake fluid. So I wouldn't want these to fail. So I've got to order the right, the right flipping things, uh, which is gonna be great because I got some more stuff coming anyway from the guys who produced this. So like I said, learn something new every day. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to move on to something else after wasting like a solid two hours doing this. Ah! So I actually bought these madly um, to replace these old crusty things. So they're slightly different. This is uh, like an older style front end. Um, and I've already done one, but uh, I'm pop this in. So I'm not using them for indicators. Built in. So these are the indicators on the front. So there's a uh, like a white for a daylight running and then a orange inside the halo for, uh, for indicators. So that's on the front. So this is just for aesthetics. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be cool. So I'm actually pulling these apart and then taking out the bulb on the inside. Um, and I'm just using it as a fitting rather than anything else. So we're not using that. And then I'm just taking out the plug that's on the inside. So literally this bit is coming out along with the spring. We're going to leave this in because this is going to mount it up to it for us. Um, but we're just going to pop this little puppy through the hole. Just like that. And then we don't need the spring that bit, just like that, and then it's going to mount up in there, and then I'm going to attach that to the car. like the tiniest job done, which is so frustrating. Got his eyes back. Hey, <laughs> come on. Gotta love it. Little bits, little small things at a time. So many small things at a time. I'm trying to keep this garage tidy as well. Clean it up once and then it still feels like it's just getting messy all the time. I'm gonna keep it in some vague order. That's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna do a tiny bit more tidying and then uh, get inside. <laughs> Supposed to have. Well, that's brat. I'm supposed to have uh, mowed the lawn, but I ain't done that yet. So I I need to mow the lawn. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, eh? That's beautiful. 
beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. That is gorgeous. Should be outdoors. If it weren't so windy, I'd go for a cycle ride. But it's too windy, so I can't. Which is annoying. I mean, I can go for a cycle ride indoors, but you know what it's like. Going outdoors is way better. Way better. Um, and I need to work out, as in, <laughs> I need to work out. I actually do need to work out. Um, I don't, yeah. What's the time? Man, it's five o'clock. <laughs> I don't actually think I have any clean workout clothes anyway. I need to pop a load on. <laughs> All right, maybe we're not working out quite yet. Tomorrow, we'll do a big old cycle tomorrow. <laughs> Big cycle tomorrow, that's what we'll do. At some point I need some dinner, I need to cook some mints that are going out of date, so I've got to cook them quick. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do it. I just thought I'd make you all aware that I'm cooking up a storm right now, okay? I mean, let me show you what we got going on. Yo, we got some phenomenal sausages going on here. We got some onions going in here at the moment. Looking pretty ass. Some carrots, love to see it. Some mushrooms, and then popping it all off over here with some mints. These are the sausages. Ooh -wee! Get me the chorizo sausage, yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna throw in, uh, I don't know, what we're we gonna throw in? Probably one of these. One of these little bad boys. Mmm. Yeah, boy. I'm excited. Uh, I gotta get some butter. I'm gonna lob some butter in there so I can get the mushrooms uh, cooking nice and good. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be good dinner. Um, I gotta use that meat, innit? Use that meat. Woo! Getting steamy in here, smoking. Yo, I don't even, I don't even, right. <laughs> this is already a whole meal in itself, right? Here it is, yeah? Like, it looks great. Sausage and everything. It's already a full meal. I'm only cooking this, because I needed to eat this meat. I needed to finish the mince. So, it's going in, because it's got to go. But, oh, it looks so good already. And then we're going to finish it off with a little, a little bit of this. Yeah, boy, a little, little smoky barbecue rub, yeah? just had, I decided, right, that I'd put the mixture in a fajita wrap. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. 
Um, it's so good, I'm going to have another one. Because um, one just ain't enough. So I'll show you it. I'll show you it right now. So I'm feeling great about shooting loads of video today. However, now I realize that I also have to edit it all. And I think that's what I'm looking forward to a whole lot less. So I'm gonna maybe start pulling stuff off from this morning and just throwing it together. Cause the last thing I want is to throw it all in and edit and then it just take like six hours and then just be really, really demotivated by everything. Demotivated, unmotivated, dismotivated, less motivated. Um, so I'm going to try, I'm going to try and edit like now, maybe, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to try and just get it done while I can. So wish me luck. Yo, well, there you go. Uh, thank you for watching this video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a good day and uh, making this video and I mean the edit is going to take me time. I've started it this evening, um, but I'll probably have to finish it tomorrow morning. So I don't know whether I'll do the same tomorrow and record something. Uh, it depends how I feel when I have to watch back. Uh, my entire day again on video so I don't know we'll see what happens but um, yeah I hope you enjoyed um, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me uh, and enjoying my day with me uh, if you did smash the like button smash that thumbs up um, subscribe if you're not already and uh, who knows maybe uh, we'll see you in the next one but yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, being outside in the garage with me, checking out the progress on the mini. Um, and yeah, we've got some cool stuff coming soon. Like when that car is running, it is going to be awesome. So we've got stuff to do on the car. We've got stuff to do in the studio up in here. Um, so yeah, join me on the journey. Um, I love you. Thanks for your support. Catch you in the next one.